Hello everyone, my name is Connor Hoffman, and this is how to build Kallen, the Banished Flame. Now this is my own recreation of the well-known Kallen Lord of Fire's self-mock, Kallen Lord of Fire. If you notice the eye in the top right corner of the screen, that'll take you directly to Kallen's channel. Go check him out, he's an awesome guy, if you haven't already. And there's also a link in the description as well. So here he is. I created him back when Kallen had a silver and red color scheme, and I, I seem to have bad luck with creating other people's self-mocks because they always seem to change right after I build them. So I haven't updated my mock since. I feel it works with this version of Callan's character. This is my own story's depiction of the character of Callan. He's more or less a, uh, a disgraced royal guard who wanders the deserts of Luna Magna alone covering his face to hide his identity. And the more modern version of Callan Lord of Fire, the uh, golden red version, doesn't really suit that uh, character archetype very well. Without further ado, let's get on with the legs. Alrighty, starting with the legs, these are the parts you'll need. As usual, feel free to pause the video and build whatever you see here. Anything too complicated to explain from just looking at it, I will explain during the tutorial. Also, before we move on, I just want to formally apologize for the notoriously bad lighting in my past how to build videos. Uh, I was working with non-professional grade studio lights all before and it was usually too difficult to tell whether or not the lighting was good until after the video was already made, so I want to apologize for that. But uh, to make up for it, if I ever run out of video content again, I will uh, go ahead and redo all the how to builds I've already done as a slideshow style, because I know a lot of people prefer those kind of videos over the uh, more let's build style tutorials. So. Uh, let me know what you think about that, but to start with, we're going to go ahead and take this Metru foot and a normal hand connector, slide it in just like so, and then go ahead and take this Technic connector with the pin axle conversion piece, snap that in the back right there to uh, hold the uh, hand connector in place, and then just on both sides of the hand connector put this bow rock eyes, put these bow rock eyes, that's the foot. Next up we'll take the uh, this Paraco leg here. This is for the lower leg design, and we're gonna start by, well, we're gonna start by taking this and applying that straight to the top hole, just like so. Make sure that's straight so the axle hole lines up with the rest of the construction there. And next up on the back, we're going to take this three long pin with a three long uh, lift arm and a thin three long lift arm, and stick that in the back just like so, so that they combine like so. And then take a take a metro leg armor piece, snap that over that whole construction like so, and then set that down for a second. We're going to go ahead and take this, and we're going to snap these two pe these very useful pieces and the shin armor piece from Akar together. Then take this axle pin conversion piece and just slide that through the top, just like so. So you get something like that. And then we're going to take this roughly three long cut flex tube piece. You could probably actually make this a too long cut flex tube, but for this situation I've already cut it, so no sense wasting it. Stick that in the hole in the bottom like, like so, so it sticks, so it goes all the way up to the front. And then we're just going to stick that in this small hole in the paracolum. This is pretty much the only place it connects to, so like I said before, you can pretty much just make that a too long if you want to save some flex tube. All right, and once you got that, all you gotta do is take this Nuva chest armor piece, flip it upside down, and just attach it on like so. And that's how you make the lower leg. Go ahead and set that down. Last but not least, for the upper leg, we're gonna take this these two hand connector constructions with these Technic connectors. And this is a design that I've used relatively often. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm the one who came up with it, but I've been using this ever since pretty much the Hero Factory shells came out. So take this double pin connector piece, stick that between the two, just like so. That basically creates a super complex custom Hero Factory bone. Go ahead and take a ball joint piece and snap that to the center of those as well. Next up, we're just gonna take this size five Hero Factory shell, snap that onto the ball joint. And then as you can see, the hand connector and this pinhole line up like so. So we're just gonna take this pneumatic T piece and just snap those together like so. That just holds it together a little better. And then last but not least, take the uh, 
this new 2016 Technic connector and an axle pin conversion piece and just snap that on the back. Now this can flip back and forth and because of that, this is officially not a mirrored design. So you can just simply rebuild what we just showed you one more time and you have both of the legs. All right, let's move on to the arms. Alrighty, these are the parts you'll need for the arms. Feel free to pause the video and build what you see here, but these are pretty simple, so I'll just go ahead and start explaining it. For the shoulder, you're just going to take these two straight, straight hand connector pieces, add two bow rack eyes to either side, then go ahead and attach, then go ahead and attach another one on the bottom, just like so. This is a design I got from Kyler Nuva, also uh, known as Creepy Biotube Stalker, as he's more active nowadays. Um, huge fan, by the way. Go ahead and take this construction here out of all these Technic connectors and uh, slide that onto that very useful piece on the side like so. And cap it off on the other end, just like that. Fairly simple design, but credit where credit is due. From the next part, take this Metru shoulder pad piece and just slide that over that Technic connector like so. And that's the shoulder done. Next up, the uh, lower arm is extremely simple. All you'll need is this Pohatu Nuva claw. Put a three long axle through there and snap a washer on the other end. Then throw a Viserac foot over the back of that. Then go ahead and take a Metru leg piece, snap the pin there to the top hole on the design so you get something like that. And then next you'll need this Technic connector, throw on a spike piece just for filler. And then uh, I've also used a Kordak blaster piece, which is something Callan always used to do. I'm not sure if he does it too often now, but yeah, he uses those in his box a lot. So I figured I'd pay homage to that. And then just go ahead and throw that all the way down into the bottom hole. And it sh everything should line up and hold on relatively securely. All right, last but not least is the uh, standard Gringat hand design with a uh, pneumatic T-piece, some, some Exoforce arms, this Technic connector on the bottom, and a faucet, like so. And then everything just snaps together, just like so. And I do not believe you have to mirror anything, you just have to flip the shoulder around. And I guess the uh, hands are mirrored as usual, but those are pretty simple. Build two of those, and next we will move on to the torso. Alrighty, now for the torso, these are the parts you'll need. Um, first off, this torso is pretty simple, but I'm still going to show you how to do it in sections to uh, make it a little easier to follow. So uh, to start with, let's go ahead and build this biggest chunk here first. Start with this Pohatu Nuva claw, take this Technic connector, and add one of those pin conversion pieces onto it. Throw that on there. Set it down, that's all you need to do there. Then you have a classic uh, Anika waist piece, or actually this is a Metro waist piece, but they used it on the Anika build. Put these pins in the following holes. Next up, take this. This is a seven long lift arm. And go ahead and put the following pins into the following holes. And this is just a blue pin piece with a washer on it for uh, some uh, spacing and filler. That's about it there. All you gotta do is just snap these all together, just like that. So these two go into those assigned holes, just like so, like that. Then this Pohatu Nuva Claw just attaches right there onto the back, just like so. And then go ahead and take this Angle 4 Technic connector, add two, two long axles on either side, and just snap that to that top pin like so. And we'll continue building off of that later. Next up, this is a mirrored part of this design. These are the shoulders. Go ahead and start with this Technic connector piece. Put these two pins in the following holes and then take this new 2016 styled Technic connector there. Attach that on like so. Then go ahead and take a Hordika neck piece. Throw that on just like that. And go ahead and cap that off with a three long axle and another Technic connector piece. Then this uh, robot claw piece and this spike piece, they just set right into there. That's all you need to do there. Go ahead and mirror that and build it. Oh, dang it. I always do this. So yeah, mirror these and build them twice. Moving on. All right, now for the next two sections of the torso, these are the parts you'll need. To start with, go ahead and take these, these constructions with the following Technic connectors and arrange them together just like so. 
So you have the uh, round hole holding that together and you'll need all four of those black pins as well. Next up, take this uh, Metro chest plate, add a black pin to the bottom there and go ahead and snap that to the bottom of this connector. This whole construction right there and then go ahead and continue that trend with this three long lift arm, just like so. That's one of the two chunks. Next to the two chunks, take this uh, Bionicle uh, Baraki armor piece, take one of these uh, three long pin with a hub on the end pieces, and then slide that from the hub end on the inside out so it sticks out one and a half lengths on the back. Next up, take two, two long axles, snap them on either side of the construction like so. Don't push them all the way in just yet. I was kind of stupid there. Take this Technic connector, slot that into the uh, to the armor piece just like that. This is mostly just for filler, so if you want, you can probably just replace this with washers or leave it out entirely. So, yep, that's all you need to do there. Then, last but not least, take this Technic connector with the three long axle, add that to the back right there, and then connect it together using a three long axle. Just like so. You should get something like that. And those are those two chunks done. Moving on. Now gather up everything you've constructed and add these pieces along the bottom here. Uh, worth noting that these two new style hand connectors right there you can use broken ones as long as the ball joint is capable of holding on to, or the socket is capable of holding on to a ball joint. That's what I've done here. It kind of saves you the hassle of using good pieces for just basically filler and armoring. So go ahead and take the two biggest chunks you have here, and you're just simply going to attach the black pin right here to this open hole in this construction right there. Everything should line up fairly easily. Next up, you're going to take this construction here. This is a four long axle and then one of these style Technic connectors. Slide that through the middle hole right there and let that snap into the blue pin, just like so. Go ahead and take the other big chunk you got and then in that the hub on that uh, pin to axle conversion piece, stick that on the axle right here. So everything should line up like so. Also, you're gonna take this, this good hand connector here and line it up just like so, so that that pin or that axle goes through it just like that. And that's what she should have now. Next up, you're gonna take the two shoulder pieces and this is a pretty complex attachment right here. Go ahead and fold it in half kind of like that and attach this part to this axle right here this part, the gray connector, to this open hole right here, and then this open connector to this axle right here. So it'll kind of attach just like so. On top of everything. And this is a little bit of an illegal connection, but it holds on it holds itself together, so that's all that really matters in my book. Go ahead and do that to the other side. That's how you attach the shoulders. Next up, you're gonna take these two broken hand connector pieces and slide that ball joint on, just like so, onto the open pin in the front, and just line them up so that they, uh, they're positioned in roughly that shape. And then next up, you're gonna take this Mari cable, and you're gonna flip it up like this. They're not, yours is probably not gonna be bent like this, but just stick it on through either side of this Pohatu claw, Pohatu Nuva claw on the inside. All right, and then let it hook around the bottom of this Metru armor like so. Then on the back, just let it flip up and stick into these two black pins up here, just like that. Then last but not least, on the front, take this uh, Tanak Call shield, add a one long pin with a stud on the end and a blue translucent loosened stud, and then simply just attach that axle to that connector, like so. And that is how you build Callan's torso. Next up, I will show you how to build his head. All right, now for Callan's head, these are the parts you'll need. This is basically just Noxus's custom head design with one minor change, which is this Technic piece right here has a round hole rather than a axle hole. 
So just like Noxus's head design, you're gonna build it upside down, take a two by two round plate and attach two or four Lego studs on top of it, like so. The bottom, the bottom two Lego studs will be the eyes and the top two will just be part of the head as well. And this will flip, everything will flip over so it'll be kind of like that as well. Go ahead and attach the Technic brick on the bottom there. And then go ahead and attach this two by two round brick, just like so. A two long axle with a ball joint on the end, a minifigure chair, which attaches to the top of the two by two round plate. And then just for rounding off the design, a skid plate on the top. And that's how you build the head. Now, there's a bit of a complexity with this, uh, with this here head design. It's not simply just a head and done. There's also this. So obviously this is not a, a Lego piece. It's a, uh, it's a roughly nine inch long piece of cut, cheap craft fabric from Walmart. It's kind of an inch wide as well. And what I've done is I well, attached the mask to the head here and then I wrapped it around the front of the face, pinched it on the back and then took a dab of super glue to hold the whole thing together tight just like so and then I've take, taken a Lego rubber band tied a knot roughly around the end there to kind of pinch it in place give it a, a more angular look and this is the challenging part here so attaching it to the head is kind of a pain so what I usually do is I take off the mask take off the chair piece and you're gonna take off the front of the face as well so you just have that like so I've basically figured out that the best way to hold it together or to hold it on is to take the rubber take the uh, loose rubber band here let it wrap around just like that go ahead and take the face now and attach that so you kind of got the rubber band around the back of the head there and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull the entire front of the mask in place I'm calling this the mask when it's the scarf but pull the front of the scarf in place and then slide the mask in between the two. Then kind of just pull it around the back. The scarf is sort of supposed to stick out a little on the side, like so. Then, last but not least, just attach the chair back on. You might have to shove the rubber band off to the side a little bit more. Just adjust the uh, the way the mask sits on the face a little bit. The mask, the uh, scarf, sits around the face a little bit. And you should have something like that when you're done. And obviously you can play with it a little more just to make it look perfect. Yep, so that's how you build Callan's face and attach his scarf. Next up I'll show you how to do his weapons and then after that we'll show you how to put them all together. All right, and last but not least, the swords. These are the parts you'll need. Uh, to start with, these are pretty self-explanatory. They're just the Wilferno blades with these two Technic connectors connected on the end of it to add a hilt and a little one long pin with a stud on the end to connect to the hands. You'll need two of those and just have the pin swished around on either side. Now for the uh, broadsword, this design, I believe, is the original sword design Callan used on his self mock. I'm not sure if he still uses it now, but we're kind of replicating it here. So go ahead and take the uh, Tahu Stars slash Akar blade piece, put two three long axles on it, and snap a Mata neck onto the back of it, and add another three long pin on there. Next up, you're going to take these two Takanuva staff pieces, add this Technic connector here and simply just attach one on either side of the blade like so. Then next up take these two dagger pieces from the 2007 years and then just simply attach onto this hole right here the uh, three long pin. Last but not least take this three long axle put a red ball joint on the end of it and attach a axle extender two long axle, then another Mata neck piece, two long pin on that to attach to the hands, and then last but not least a little spike to finish off the hilt. Alright, that's how you build his swords. 
Moving on, we're going to show you how to put them all together. All right, go ahead and gather up everything you've built so far. Go ahead and pick up that torso and start snapping limbs on. So legs obviously go on the waist joints. Just like so. Make sure these little Technic connectors are flipped outwards. Then uh, take the two scissor blade pieces. These are how you connect it to the hips here. So just take that hole there and attach that to the uh, two connectors there. You should sit rather tightly so they don't wobble around. That's how you attach the swords to his hips. Next up for the arms. Go ahead and just snap these onto the Hordika neck joints on the shoulders. It's easier if you take the uh, Metro piece off. Now for the head, simply just snap that ball joint onto the, uh, the open socket up there. And uh, I usually try and keep his scarf tucked under the uh, the armor there just because it makes it look a little better and then you know pull the uh, scarf down sometimes you have to finagle this around to make it sit naturally but that's all you need to do and then to attach the sword to his back obviously you know how to attach it to his hands uh, go ahead and take that hole in the construction there and just let that attach to the pin on his back there and sits more naturally like that so that's all you need to do to build Callan. Alrighty guys, that is it. That is how you build my version of Callan. If you liked the video, make sure you like the video. I try to post awesome Bionicle content like this every other week, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of it. If you like to use any of the designs you saw in this build, feel free to do so with or without credit. I do not mind. Normally I do a little section here called the awesome people section, stating that if you create your own version of this character or create this mock, feel free to share it with me. But uh, in this case, this is someone else's self-mock, so I will change the rules here slightly. If you build your own version of this form of Callan's character, go ahead and share it with me. Or if you just build this entire build in general and want to post it somewhere, go ahead and share it with me down in the comments section below, and I will link to it in the awesome people section in the description and in the comments. For my next video, I will be Finally, bringing you guys a new mock. If you've seen my social media recently, you will have uh, seen a bit of a teaser. So if you're interested, check me out on that. And uh, look forward to that coming soon as well. Alright guys, without further ado, thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next How to Build.